Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Stellaris returning to Redwall Abbey. And I just popped out a colony ship, and I'm gonna go ahead and send that over into this system. We're gonna colonize this world here. It's not that big of a world, but it's somewhere we can colonize. Oh, wow. That caused quite a lot of influence. I wonder if it has to do with how far away it is. Hmm. So at the moment, we're being drained by our defensive pack and our frontier outposts so that we're not actually gaining any influence. It's kind of tough to do things in a world where everything costs influence now. A lot more influence than I'm used to things costing. All right, well, I guess we'll colonize the other uh, planet that we can colonize over here for the meantime. So, that would only cost 30. I think it, part of it is whether it's in your space or not. Because I think uh, 30 is the base cost. Hmm. Well, in any case, let's go ahead and colonize. And where do you plop this down? Well, here might be a good spot. There's no actual minerals in this spot, but that's okay. There's resources everywhere else, and we get adjacency bonuses for a couple of these areas. I'm going to go ahead and plop it down right there, and that's fine. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to need to do to get enough influence to colonize over here. Because we do have another uh, colony ship on the way. And unfortunately, I do not have any other colonizable worlds within my space. As far as I know, I couldn't colonize, for instance, this tropical world because I don't think I have the tech for it yet. I think you have to unlock that stuff. Right? Oh. Never mind. I guess we can colonize this. It's not saying that I can't. All right, well, uh, maybe we'll try and colonize a world like over here. Because this is a um, world that's just barely in our dominion. And we've got a tropical world here, which is 60% habitability, which isn't fantastic. But it's a nice sized planet and it gives us a nice strategic point to expand our border. So the next colony ship I pop out, I'll send... You know, I guess maybe I could cancel that one colonization and send it over here instead. Because it might be worth... Let's actually do that. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I accidentally clicked on my task force. Hold on. Task force, go back into orbit. All right. On each ship. Let's reroute it. Because I'd actually much rather strategically colonize something than not. Alright, so we've got a nice 16 size world here. Colonize this planet instead. And we're gonna plop this down. Hmm. No real obvious place to plop it. I could plop it here, and that'd give me a couple adjacency bonuses, but not much. Here would give me practically zero, though. I could go here, but it'd also be no adjacency bonus. I'm going to go ahead and plop it here. All right. So it didn't really cost us any more influence. And we'll get uh, this planet, which will push border on these guys, preventing them from taking systems from me. And maybe we'll even gain a couple systems out of the deal. And then the next colony ship I'll colonize here, which will help push border even more. And this might actually got, cause me to get a couple systems here. So I'm going to go ahead and survey this system over here. As soon as we get the chance to do so. Oh. Anomaly found. We got an anomaly, but we also have an enemy ship somewhere. Alright, so uh, class 12 asteroid orbits this moon. Okay, we'll leave it be for now. Alright, I just want to see what's going on here. Is it just the uh, amoebas? 
yeah, it's just amoebas. They're they're hopping around in our space, being a nuisance. As long as they're not a threat to my construction ship, which I have told, I think, not to be on an evasive maneuver, so they shouldn't run into them. Because that's the one problem with the AI. Sometimes they actually run towards the uh, space amoebas to escape. Construction complete. All right. Our construction ship is done with what it's doing. Uh... All right, we'll go ahead and have it come over here. Another mining station. And then we just have some science things that we can do over there. Energy is going to be short once our colony ship actually arrives. We're going to have to be on top of that. Construction complete. All right, what do we got here? Governor leveling up. All right, I think it's time to start upgrading these power plants. And probably want to upgrade the minerals too, but we'll just wait for that. What we got going on over here? Uh, we could build our plant here. That's going to be it for now. A Navi Prime. We actually have more built here than we need. What is this? Atmospheric. Oh, okay. More ethics divergence, but... A uh, buff to growth time and habitability. I actually didn't know that was here. So what's the actual habitability here? 65%? Huh. Isn't that worse than normal? Oh, this was a tropical world, but it's hab more habitable for me because of this atmospheric aphrodisiac. I didn't notice that. I just saw that it was a green planet. I didn't realize. Okay, well, that's uh, interesting nonetheless. Okay, our colonies plop down. Looks like we're staying ahead of this, though. All right, so we're going to have... This is still in Jetma space. And this is not in our space either. All right. Oh, well, we're just waiting on the... Construction these complete. Ice System ship survey finish complete. its thing. Okay, so science ship finish, it, finish its thing. Let's have it uh, come over here and survey this system because it is now within our space. And we can do things with it. And what about this? Uh, it's still in their space, but uh, Colony will probably push the border. And construction ship is done, but I don't think I have anything for it to do right now. So we're just going to grab it. And have it uh, hop over here. And ideally, I'd like it to move like somewhere in the middle so it doesn't get hit by one of those space amoeba attacks. Construction complete. Construction complete. All right, so there's our other colony ship coming out. I I think we're gonna go. So that means we have more habitable worlds than I initially thought we would. So do we go for the tropical world here to push this border, hopefully getting uh, Rulon and Antac possibly in our border? Because 
These guys over here, I don't think I have a planet in this area. They probably just have a frontier outpost. What size planet is this? A 17? Go ahead and take a look at it. Alright, I mean, it's got not bad resources. Alternatively, we could come over here, which is a continental world, more habitable. Uh, it's a little bit smaller of a planet. And it's not going to give us any obvious border push. So, I'm thinking... Go after the obvious border push, rather than go after somewhere that... I mean, we'll colonize there later, but I think here is probably a better call. So, let's grab our colony ship. And we do have a mining uh, station here, which would get knocked out. What about over here? I'm sorry, not that system, this system. Okay, either way, we're knocking out a mining station by what we're doing, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Colony ship. Come over here and colonize the planet. And where to put it? Again, there's not really an obvious place to put, put this. I'm thinking either putting it here or here. See, I don't remember if the science, uh, when you build the building, you get, uh, oh, there's a strategic resource on here, so it was, it was a good idea to colonize. But I don't remember if you uh, get adjacency for science. Ah, oh, what the heck, we'll put it here. Okay. And Redwall's doing its thing. We can build... We'll upgrade our power plants. And then on Navi Prime... Because we don't have anything else to do... I think I'm going to go ahead and start clearing blockers here. So we'll clear that blocker. At least gives them something to do. And then over on Redwall, we'll build one more Corvette. Get our fleet strength up. Okay, well... going to have to delay the colonization over here until we can push our border a little bit. I kind of like some of the changes they've made because they make it more Colony difficult established. Research complete. for you to establish colonize, uh, colonies just anywhere you want. Alright, so we have our blockers. And you know what? I might just keep going with the blockers. I don't feel like I really need the naval capacity right now. Uh, I don't really want the uh, the energy siphon. And the strategic resource... ...is plus 20% food. I mean, that's a good thing, obviously. But I think the blockers are always the best thing to, to research early on in the game. That way you can unlock the full potential of the planet. And we also have inactive buildings, which I already kind of knew about. But I want to keep my food production up so we keep getting population popping out here. Alright. Still working on things here. Alright, well, can we, on Navi Prime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can't upgrade this once I get the resources to do so. So I need a little bit more minerals here. 
All right, so we'll uh, wait for that. Construction complete. All right. Should have it now. Navi Prime can upgrade this. And then on Red Wall. We're researching that power hub, right? Yeah. So I'm going to wait until that pops out, and then we'll probably do that on Red Wall in, a, in the last little location here. Um, but I could do food here. Although there's not really a point, I guess, considering that we already have enough food for the population. I could convert that to something else. Because it's just one food. Oh, we've got power. We've got all kinds of things we can build here. Let's build... We're actually doing quite good on power right now. But uh, I don't see a reason why not to build a power plant when I can. Oh, a construction ship isn't doing anything? Come on over, construction ship. Um, I guess you can get the science, right? I mean, that's going to consume a lot of my minerals, but science is always good. You don't want to fall behind on that. Construction complete. System survey complete. And then we've got plenty of minerals here. Now, is this planet... This planet is in my space now, right? Yeah, Redwall Abbey... That's still in their space. Okay, so let's grab survey sh ship and have it survey this system. Now that's within our space. And I'm hopefully the Jetmov actually spent resources upgrading it. Complete. I'm not sure if we'd know that or not. Colony established. Okay. Pretty good to go. Uh, I think it's time. Now it's where we're actually starting to run out of inf influence. And uh, the outposts I might have to dismantle. Like, for instance, what's the point of this outpost now? I mean, we might lose Baldoon. That would be the only thing I'd really see as a consequence right now. But we've got a colony here. We've got our main system here. This is probably no longer useful. And it's eating me, it's eating my influence, having it up. So, I might wait a little bit longer, but I think it's time to get rid of uh, this outpost here. This one I think is still crucial, but the other one, not so much. Unless we lose Baldoon, as I mentioned, which would be bad, obviously, because that's a lot of energy. But right now we're doing quite good on energy credits, so... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and dismantle it now. This might be a mistake. Because these are pretty expensive. Alright, let's see what happens to our border. Yeah, so we did lose Construction Baldoon complete. here. Oh, we also lost over here. I didn't expect that. Because I figured the colony right nearby. But it was just a recently established colony. So maybe I should have waited a little bit longer. Before I did that. But uh, I think we'll eventually get things going here. Okay. Well, in any case, uh, I'm a little bit more confident now to hire a leader. So I would like another governor if I could afford one. So, either building reduction or leader lifespan. Well, problem with this guy is he's kind of old. 
So do we go with the leader lifespan guy just so that we have some bonuses for our governor? Hmm. Or we could just wait and see what happens here. Yeah, I'll just wait. I'll be patient. Research complete. All right, what do we get? All right, so that's what I was waiting for. So let's grab new research here. Okay, this strategic resource does what? Degree. Okay, so don't really care about that. Assist research. Active countermeasures or unlocks physics lab. Hmm. I think I'm going to go in on the point defense at this point. Okay, and now we'll go on to Redwall here and build a power hub. And then we'll also, well, we'll have to wait on that. There's no point in burning through minerals and stuff. All right, you are going to build me a research lab. Perfect. What are you doing on food? Minus one. Okay, so that means you're not going to grow anymore. Uh, how can we fix that? Clearing this blocker makes sense. Okay. Navi Prime. That's a lot of food. At this point, I think we're going to switch. So we're using that building. I've got that edict active, right? How much more time? Oh, last 14 years. When did I uh, enact it, though? End date, 2235. All right, so we still got a lot of time on that. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? Hmm. Probably would be a good idea to upgrade my spaceports at some point. And also build more spaceports. Yeah, let's, uh, let's save up for that eventuality. Getting more... Oh, there's not a whole lot of food on this planet, I'm just realizing. There's one here, but we have to clear that blocker. And we're working on getting the research for that, but... Alright. I'm a little bit disappointed with how much my complete. border shrunk there. But uh, hopefully we can get some of these planets back in. Our space. Soonish. Construction complete. All right. So we should be able to get uh, a spaceport here. System survey complete. Construction complete. Wow, there was a whole lot of nothing in that system. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, you can go. And I guess survey over here. And we might as well survey things that are nearby, right? Mm -hmm. Black insult. These guys over here just insulted me. Mm -hmm. Bizarre, your bizarre love of alien cultures is a sickness. Can't you see that? Okay. I think that does give me grounds for war, but uh, we're not warlike. They can insult us all they like. And then I'll get another space station going here soon. Yeah, that's probably enough. I think our leader gives us a discount here. Because normally I think it would be more expensive than that. Oh, it looks like Baldoon fell back in my space. Our border did push out a little bit. Hopefully we can get uh, Kung Gath back in our border because there's good resources in there. 
Unfortunately, this this system had nothing in it. System survey complete. All right, well we're done there. Oh, you know I never did this anomaly. Let's go ahead and research that. Do I survey this planet to see what this automated dreadnought's all about? No, it's an enemy, so I don't want to be anywhere near it. Alright, I think we can start making more improvements on our planets. So, mining probably is a good idea. We'll upgrade all of our mining networks. I'm going to do one thing at a time, so we're that not wasting time and resources. So we need food over here. Let's grab one of these people and put them over there. And I might even uh, kill the minerals in favor of the farming, but we'll just see. And... I guess I might as well also upgrade the mining. And let's go to Navi Prime here. And we can upgrade mining as well. Or farming. I think we need population growth here, so I'm actually going to put a priority on upgrading farming. And over here... We could start building a farm, and then we'll move the population over once it gets built, if it's not being worked. And then over here, uh, we've already discussed there are no farms on here unless we can clear this blocker out. There's really not a whole lot to do on this particular planet. Outside of, I guess I could start building a mining Hmm. I just realized I might be able to get away with uh, a mineral silo. Plus one mineral output adjacency. If we put it over in this corner, that would help here and here. Sounds like a good idea, right? So why don't I build a mining network here? Because we're no or basic mine anyway. Alright, so that's gonna be all my planets having construction. And you know what? I'll go ahead and upgrade my spaceport level here. And that'll be good for now. Construction ship isn't doing anything. Unfortunately, I actually don't have anything for it to do, do I? Alright, so you can sit where it is. Kind of hoping that there would be resources in this system, but nope. Okay, towed asteroid. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around... The planet. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they begun. Alright, so there is science to pick up there. Doesn't really help me out too much because... I mean, eventually I may be able to colonize over here. Why don't we go ahead and survey over here? Because this is a little bit more of a close system that is colonizable. It is an ocean world, so that's not too bad. And I guess we can colonize it. So we'll go ahead and come over, survey the system. Oh, space amoeba again. Construction complete. Construction complete. All right, well, you know what? I think this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner. 
signing out.